channel. My name is Khadija and today is a new day and it's still locked down everywhere here in Pakistan. You know, I, w I wish to show you a bit of Pakistan but unfortunately I won't be able to do that due to the community quarantine. So all I can do guys is to share to you my, my cooking tips. <laughs> hey. I'm not really a professional chef, but I just love sharing things that I know that maybe some people would like to learn as well. So without further ado, I'm going to take you to our kitchen so we can start cooking. So this is our ingredients. First we need chicken, so this is chicken breast. So all meat, no bones and I already cut them into these pieces. This is about 1 fourth kilo. And then we will need 400 grams macaroni pasta and you have to cook this, keep it ready, follow the instruction on the back and set it aside. We need half um, cabbage, so we're gonna slice this all half. We need carrots, I put three because they are small, so it's up to you how much carrots you want and cabbages you want in your pasta. And then five pieces of medium-sized tomatoes, one piece of large bell pepper, one piece of medium-sized onion, and this much garlic only, just one piece of nor or chicken stock. So in Philippines, we're using nor cubes, right? Just one. And then this mamacita. This is my very secret. Actually, if I'm cooking this in Pakistan, they don't know that I'm putting mamacita. And they're always telling me, you cook very nice pasta. So I just want to share you guys my secret as well. Actually, this is a product of Philippines, but this is available here in Pakistan. And then one tablespoon of salt. One teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, and half teaspoon of chilies, the dry ones. So first I have to cut and prepare all these ingredients and then we will start cooking. So this is our ingredients after preparing them. Usually I slice the vegetables, depends on the pasta that I'm using. So since I'm using macaroni pasta, I slice the vegetable on the sizes. So now I have already turned on the fire. I'm going to add up one third cup of cooking oil. We will put our garlic and wait until it is golden brown before adding up our onion. Okay, now we can add up our onions. So we'll just cook this a little. We will add up our chicken. And we will add up our black pepper. So we're just gonna cook the chicken. Make sure they're cooked properly before we add other ingredients. So usually what I do to cook it faster is to cover it. This is not the cover for this pan, but I don't wanna search anymore. So I'm just gonna take whatever's available. For like one minute and we are going to add our tomatoes so now we can add up our tomatoes so we need tomatoes so we need to make sure the tomatoes will be cooked into a gravy type 
to I have to cover it so it will cook faster. So occasionally here. Let's see here. So now we have to check and mash our tomatoes by just pressing it like this. So it will become gravy. It's nicer when the tomato turns to gravy because this is going to be like the main sauce of our pasta. I'm just gonna cover it again for like two minutes more and then I will add up one by one the vegetables. So now our tomatoes are fine. This is gravy enough. I'm going to add the carrots and cover so the carrots will cook faster. So I just checked our carrots, still not ready, just a little bit. But for now I'm going to add our chicken stock. So that it will melt. So now we check the carrots. See if it's already soft enough. I'm gonna take one and eat. Hmm. It will cook. It will cook more because I have to wait for this one to be cooked as well. And then we will add our. Cabbage. So we're just going to wait for our vegetable to be tender and then we are going to add up our macaroni. And now we have to check our cabbage and bell pepper if they are already tender. So yes, they are tender. Okay, so now I have to add up the Mamacita oyster sauce. So if you don't have Mamacita brand, you can use other oyster sauce. So you can stir it for one minute. So our oyster will be cooked a little. Now we can add up our pasta. So we're just gonna mix it together. so that our sauce will mix properly with our pasta. And we're gonna cook it a little. Maybe for like two minutes only, including stirring. We just mix it for like two minutes, stirring and cooking a little. So we stir it and cook for like two to three minutes just so that the sauce will mix with our pasta so now our pasta is ready I'm just gonna switch off so now I transferred it on a serving plate because I'm going to give this to my husband to try so this is how our pasta looks like Try and tell mama if it's yummy. Sit down. You like it? Yum! It's, it's too tasty! It's tasty! Okay, then eat. <laughs> it's tasty but spicy, right? Huh, Musa? It smells good. It smells good. It smells good. So you see guys, that's how easy it is to make a chicken and vegetable macaroni pasta. And I'm so happy that my son Musa liked it. And uh, yeah, the boys enjoyed eating. So anyway, 
um that's all for this vlog guys anyway if you noticed that i'm again outside it's because i don't need to use ring light here the light is so perfect it makes me look flawless in which i'm not but <laughs> at least you know this is the benefit of vlogging outside our house so anyway that's all for this vlog guys thank you so much for watching and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing and um, share with your friends don't forget to click the notification bell as well please so that you will get notified every time I post a new video that's all guys Allah Hafiz